here because I'm pretty sure that this is safe. Let me show you where the gate is and how to get to the trail. And there's the park boundary sign. And the reason I parked on that side of it is because now I'm in the Auburn State Recreation Area. And at gate 145, the Cardiac Hill gate, it says no parking. So we're going to go beyond this gate. This, this is the Pioneer Express Trail. It takes you all the way to Lake Folsom, Horseshoe Bar. We're not going to go that far at all. In fact, we're going to go take a left here. Just as you leave the parking area, there's a big sign that says Pioneer Express Trail. It tells you that it gets to Rattlesnake Bar. Uh, but we're going to take the Coffer Trail Dam to Cool, which doesn't go to Cool anymore. They got rid of that little overcrossing when they re undiverted the river. So we're going to head down this trail and get to the canal. Okay, so we followed this trail down about a tenth of a mile, and we're joining the keep going until we get to the first and only bench and we'll make a left turn. So here's the bench for this one. There's the canal. We're going to come down here. Be careful. It's very slippery. Proceed with caution down the hill. Now, the first mine that we're going to look for is over on the left. The second one, right over there. That'll probably be a different movie. Here's the mine. It's been about five years since I've been down here, and now it is completely sealed. Um, the last time I was here, it had like a bed spring in front of it, and it looked like a homeless person was living in it. But now they've sealed it, and somebody's been working at that little foam they've sprayed on there and put some rocks and foam. And you can tell somebody's been picking away at that foam. There's some pieces of it. Rock. So somebody's trying to get back into this one. Shoot. I wanted to see if that one was open. Now this whole little complex, there could be lots of mines. I'm going to come look this way a little bit. We're on the beaten path. I don't know if this used to be a wagon trail or what was going on here. This could, could have been from when they were getting ready to build the Auburn Dam because they made a lot of movements. They moved a lot of dirt and stuff for that. So this trail continues. I'm not seeing any more mines. Oh, wait a minute. This area has some possibility. Let's look see a trail. Do you see that? See all that exposed rock? Do you see this? That could be one there. It's mostly filled in, but oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Now that is quite an entrance, huh? So let me get my stuff ready here. Somebody has put like a bucket in the way. All right. Somebody put a bucket in the hole for this one. I don't think I'm going to go in this way. I'm going to get the bucket. Oh. Because I'm trying to keep animals out. I've never seen an animal in all my times coming into a mine. Let's see how far back this goes. Looking down, I can't really see a wall yet. Let me head in. I'll grab the camera. I'm going to have to come in sitting down on this one. Oh my goodness. See animal droppings right there. I don't want to touch that stuff. Got a lantern. Alright, let's go in. What do you guys see? I don't see anything yet. 
turn my lantern on. I can see my feet. It's getting shimmying back here. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. On my back completely now. Oh, check this out. As I'm sitting here, do you see this? These are marks where pickaxes actually hit the ceiling when they were digging in here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's a very sturdy ceiling and a very disappointing result. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me go off to the left here. And no. Shoot. So that's the left. Goes back just a couple feet. Now, is this a mine that's been sealed? Tell me what you think. I see these walls. Good salt. Look at the ceiling here. Look at that. Look at how many times their pickaxes were swung in here. Constantly. That is so cool. All over the place. Oh, that's so cool. I've never seen that before. Usually I see like the rock tops. Now, this rock looks like it's been piled up here. I'm wondering if maybe somebody has sealed off something. It does seem to taper back there, so maybe that is the end of the mine, or people sealed it up. There's a candle there. When we were a kid, we used to play in mines. We used to explore a mine near my cabin, near Groveland, Pine Mountain Lake. I'm just kind of looking for evidence that this goes on anywhere. Anyway, and my brothers and I found a cabin, a, a mine. It went back about 100 feet, and about every 10 feet or so we would put candles. And it was really cool to go back in there and turn off our flashlights and see the candles. Um, it's such a cool ceiling to see all those marks. So there's where I came in. That's where I dropped down. That's only about a four foot drop. It's a pretty narrow entrance. And I can't stand up here at all. It might be four and a half feet high at the most. So. <laughs> Very cool that I found a new mine, but a little disappointing that it only goes back about 15 feet or so. So I'm gonna turn off the lantern, save it for what I hope will be another mine. Well, I know it'll be another mine, but I don't know if I can get in it. Let's crawl out of here, holy cow. Uh, I'm gonna try to come out facing forward. Probably should have backed up. <laughs> came in the way, or got out the way I came in. I go in, because I've been doing it my whole life, and they've been here 160 plus years. Some of them have shown signs of cave in. This one didn't. I'm gonna put that bucket back, and we're gonna go look for another one. <laughs> 